are settling with you. I have girlfriends in marriages right now who have settled with the nice, safe, secure guy we weren't all that attracted to. We didn't really want that much. We didn't have any chemistry with. We had meh sex with because we had to. Because the guy we actually felt passion and chemistry for doesn't want us. Or makes us so emotionally unhinged and erratic that we can't look ourselves in the mirror anymore. Normally, those guys that we settle for don't make it happen. To us, it's like, well, damn, if you're putting up with it, <laughs> okay, cool. If you're still here, cool. When you want to go, that's fine. But in the meantime, I got no one else. You're here to give it? Cool. I accept. But my God, I see how pathetic you are, and I will definitely use that to my advantage. We'd leave you in a heartbeat if someone better came along. It's 2024. Let's normalize being with people that really love us for us. That goes for men and women. Think about it. Are you in a relationship where you have to try three times as hard to impress your woman? Why? Why is it that being yourself isn't enough? Do you need to constantly keep reassuring your woman that you are the right choice? You shouldn't have to do that. Excuse me. That's a booty mate right there, y'all. You look so familiar. I'm tripping. So what you doing? Like, you need some help? Oh, she pumping the gas. Let me do that. You got a friend for him? Um, my pop What's she hitting on? What's she what? What's she hitting on? Where the hell he like, came from? Like? She yeah. cute, ugly, she cute? fat. My bad, where you from? I'm not from here. Where you from? Another country. I feel like you're right. Why you got a country accent? <laughs> you sound like you was raised on a farm. <laughs> What's your name, though? What's your friend say nothing for you? You ain't say my friend. That's strapped up like you? Yeah, I ain't strapped up. You don't even know my what boy that said that strapped up like you. Normal terms. Like, thick. You feel me? Oh, man. Yeah. No, but what's your friend look like, though? No, no, no. She can come over here. I'm going to let her come out of here. Come on, man. Wait a minute. I feel as though we all have that one friend that's too aggressive. It's a bunch of chicks that come around, his aggression will mess the whole situation up. Like, chill out. Let me do the talking. I, you gonna benefit, just let me do the talking. He gonna tell shorty she sound like she was raised on a farm. The wrong chick would take that the wrong way. And now you have a problem. I need IDs out! Cash out! I'm cash out ready! Bro, I gotta check I'm gonna Who you got a section with? I need your ID out now. Move to the side, little man. Yeah, hey, don't be the girl. You looking good as usual. Ass still fat. That shit smell like bad for body work. I'm trying to forty. Why you ain't texting me back? Come on, come on. I ain't the only thing that's big. I'm trying to put some stretch marks around your mouth, bro. I got some shit right here that knocked down the fourth. Talk to me again. Relax. Go ahead, baby. I already know you good. Come on. I need. Even though this is a skit, this is really how bouncers and security guards be acting at the club. I saw a video the other day where the bouncer got the beating up on, on this dude at the club. The bouncer was big as hell. The bouncer probably like 6'7". The dude had to have been like 5'9". But the bouncer was beating his ass to the point where dude was like, all right, bro, you got it. You got it. The bouncer still grabbed him, threw him to the floor, and hit him over the head with a chip. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't with bouncers when I go to the club. it has been situations where I've literally seen bouncers try to antagonize the situation. When I was in high school, I had a homeboy I used to play basketball with. So Nick, he went to the club, bouncers like did what they did, extra. He came back and he shot that whole shit up. I'm not saying I'm proud of my friend for doing that because he actually, he served the rest of his high school years and like all the years I was in college. He did all that time. I think he went to jail when he was like 17. He got out when he was like 26, 27. So he did all that time because of how a bouncer did him at the club. I don't be understanding that shit. Like, y'all got to go home too, son. You got to go home too. Like, why, why are you acting like this? I am cute. I was cute before I got my hair done, but I'm cuter now. What's your name? None of that business. I am cute. I was cute before I got my hair done, but I'm cuter now. What's your name? None of that business. Let me tell y'all something. Talking to females in New York is crazy. Son. Obviously, it's still the same. Because that's the type of energy that they be given when you approach them with respect. With respect. 
you know what? My wife grew up a little bit different. She's not as New York as um, certain other women I know. For example, my cousin, my little cousin. One day I went back to New York for um, Christmas break. This was this was some years back. I don't go back that often. I don't. I do not go back that often. I'm gonna be real with you. But I right. I went back. My cousin is on the phone with her boyfriend. They're having a back and forth discussion. It's, it's getting heated. Out of nowhere, and y'all know these these New York women when they get upset, they 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 tap into their inner manhood. Out of nowhere, I heard suck my dick. Again. I had to look back. I thought it was another room. It was her. And I'm like, yo, first off, when did you get a Secondly, why are you talking to your man like this? I don't know. There's something in the water. I don't know what it is. But when, when these New York just get mad, they, they channel their inner pop smoke. I love how girls with thick thighs and pretty eyes think they can just, like, control us. It's like, first of all, you can't. I love how girls with... <laughs> I ain't gonna say too much. Um, Next video. <laughs> next video. What's your name? Keisha. Man, hold on for a second. What's your name, man? Keisha. How you doing? I'm good. What's your name? What's your sign? Excuse me. What's your name? What's your sign, man? I'm trying to be a gentleman over here. Bro, why dudes be doing that? I'm just asking. What's your name? What's your sign? You got a man? Yes, I do. Why you pumping your own gas, then? It's my car. <laughs> I'm just saying. Like, what's your sign, sweetheart? I'm a cancer. Can you hold on for a second? I'm a cancer. Oh, you real cancerous, huh? What's your okay? Hey, what are they doing? Y'all, it ain't working for you. Why your man ain't out here pumping the gas for you? My man is working. Oh, he's working. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So, how was your day, man? How was work? You mind if I get your phone number? Maybe we could be friends or something. Huh? No. I can't get your phone number. Please? I mean, damn, like, I'm just trying to get to know you. I'm trying to be a gentleman out here. Like, what's the problem? I don't get it. Alright, her name is Ambriel Nicole. Y'all go ahead and follow her. Why do dudes do this? Why do y'all do this? If she's not interested, keep her pushing. Now, on the flip side, ladies and fellas, I've been thinking about this because, you know, I got a wife. Your woman is approached by one of these creeps, and he asks for her number, and she says, I'll give you my Instagram, and um, she blocks him afterwards. I don't think it's a problem. Hear me out. Hear me out. It's a lot of these dudes out here that don't take no for an answer. If you're not there to protect your woman, the least she can do is make him feel okay so she can get out the situation. After that, she can block him afterwards. Y'all tell me what y'all think about that. Tell me what you think about that, because I've heard. A lot of situations where a young lady is keeping it faithful and the dude that approached her got his feelings hurt because she don't want to give her number up. She don't want to give up the Instagram. And now he's beating on her. The last situation I heard was, um, it was Labor Day 2018, 2019. This young lady came back home from college. She was out there on the parkway. My Brooklyn people know she was on Eastern Parkway. She was dancing. This dude approached her. Try to talk to her, try to get her number. She was like, no, I have a boyfriend. And he shot her in the head. Think about that. Think about that. You finna go somewhere? That's my wife. You finna hop on the game? That's my wife. No, I finna watch YouTube. You going to bed? Wife. No, I ain't going to bed. Oh, my God. You cleaning your shoes right now? Oh, my God. Man, what, what is it like I'm doing? You washing dishes? Mm. Mm. But what is it like I'm about to do, man? Stop asking me questions. Mm. She would ask the most obvious questions. Like, if you want to talk, just talk. Don't ask me. Don't start the conversation of asking me some obvious shit. I'll be on the game. Oh, you playing the game? <laughs> oh, my God. I love seeing videos like this. It's so relatable.